To be fair, most of the tweets that you sent in were, were pretty uh, negative. Some were actually fearful, uh, and there were not a few that were downright angry. And I can understand that, because at its best, Parliament represents us. It makes the laws that we agree to abide by, and through the largest political party, it actually governs us. Um, it's that last bit that causes me most pain, uh, not the system, but the, the government. On that, we had a rich mix of opinions from the Speaker of the House of Commons via opposition figures to the Father of the House himself, and my thanks to uh, all of them. Parliament holds certain powers to put things to rights. The select committees are crucial, the opposition is vital, and backbench MPs of all persuasions have their part to play. It is, to me, though, a classic case of not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Turn your backs on Parliament and you beckon in anarchy or even dictatorship, as one of my guests said. And do remember that by 2024 you do get a chance to elect another Parliament. The Tories have the chance to elect another leader, as do Labour. And I hope the system trundles on and that you get what you want. But let's not lose faith in a democratically elected Parliament just yet. Because, again, it is the membership that disappoints us perhaps occasionally, but not the institution. And always remember, you put them there and you can throw them out, and that matters more than anything at all.